Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a brand new bright and sunny day. Spring is upon us and I genuinely cannot believe that we are talking about my March favorites. How in God's name is it April? My birthday is April 4th. In case you were wondering, in case you wanna like add it to your planner, your calendar, wish your girl a happy birthday, I would appreciate it. I'm turning 33 this year and something about the numbers, the double number, I feel like it's gonna be a good year for me. And then not that I'm jumping the gun because you know me, I don't like to jump the gun. I like to take it day by day because that's all that my anxiety can handle. But I feel like 34 is gonna be a great year for me too because y'all know four is my lucky number. But anyway, we're gonna be talking about all the things that I absolutely loved in the month of March. I got makeup, I got skincare, I have drinks, I have food, I have handbags. In case you were wondering what I'm drinking, because I feel like this has become a common spoken about topic here on my channel. I am drinking a cola Celsius and I brought the can up for you today. I feel like I always have it in this glass, which I love this glass. I will try and find it and link it down below. I put on my serum. I used the Shiseido Ultimune Serum, but I have nothing else on my face because I thought we would start off with my kind of sunscreen routine that I am doing now that the warmer months are upon us. Also, don't look at my armpits. They're a little fuzzy. I did not shave them this morning when I was in the shower because I have a little bit of a razor burn, so don't judge me, but I took the day off from that it's only one day though, so mind your own pits. I wear sunscreen every single day. Love my Murad SPF 30, y'all know, the perfecting day cream. It's so good, it's hydrating, it's beautiful, it's glorious. But now that the warmer months are upon us, and now that I've been going and I've been getting facials on a more regular basis, every facialist that I speak to says that I have a little bit of sun damage that I need to really use SPF 50, and anything below it is trash. So I'm gonna show you my SPF 50 routine. Put my Ultimune by Shiseido Serum, it's an antioxidant serum, I absolutely love it. It's very light on the skin. I have very dry, sensitive skin. I can't have a lot of layers because it irritates my skin. I have dermatitis around my mouth. I'm trying to tackle it. If you watch my recent vlog, you know a bit about it. Tatcha water cream. I do have a dupe for you though, if this is out of your price point. Always buy it during the Sephora VIB sale. So I, and I guess like stuff is still expensive during the sale, but I don't think I really like notice how expensive things are because I get like 20% off. So I kind of just chalk it up to, <laughs> it's a sale. This is a really nice cream. And obviously I like it because I have gone through one and I literally scraped the bottom of it. If you're on a budget, a babe on a budget, I would definitely recommend the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I will link both of them down below, but just to keep on par with what I've been doing this past month, I have been using this, letting this sink into the skin. La Roche-Posay SPF 50. I like the packaging. It has a serum -y vibe, so I'll show you. It is very, very liquidy. It is very liquidy. And this is literally how I apply it every morning. I do one full finger and then I rub it into the skin with one layer. It is really thin and it is beautiful under makeup, but this is just not the most hydrating sunscreen, which is why I really love the Maraud. I wish Maraud would come out with an SPF 50. Please, Maraud, if you ever watch this video, come out with an SPF 50. But this is really light and so I'm not gonna knock it because I'm doing one more finger. I'm not gonna knock it because SPF 50s normally are thick. I don't like a thick sunscreen. I don't know anyone who does like, a, you know, a sunscreen that you apply and it makes you feel sweaty. Like, no, well, nobody likes that. This will get stuck in your brows and make your brows white. I am still loving this, so I'm gonna mention this. I use this every single day. I have no idea how I still have so much left, but this is the Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, just to hydrate and give a little bit of glow. This has vitamin C in it, so it helps to brighten the under eyes, the skin. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna get to my favorite lip product in just a minute, and you can find it at the drugstore. I've been leaving this on my vanity to use it because these things do go bad. Like I had the original one and I threw it out because it smelled like sour. So things go bad, we do wanna use them before they expire, and so I spent my hard earned money on this, you bet your I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna apply this because I already did apply this to my chest. I have recommended this to so many people. I love and adore Eucerin Daily Hydration Cream SPF 30. When I get out of the shower, I moisturize my entire body and then I apply this from literally my 
chest down like all the way to my belly button i have some sun damage on my chest it is what it is i'm not crying about it but i do want to prevent it from getting any worse and of course i do not want skin cancer nobody wants skin cancer so i like to use this spf 30. this is nice it is a thick kind of sunscreen but it dries down really nice it does not make me feel like a sticky wet seal it leaves a nice sheen to the skin and again, it doesn't make me feel sweaty. It's not sticky and it's really hydrating. Like it says it's a hydrating cream. It is very hydrating. Let's hop into my makeup. A lot of these are things that I've tried to incorporate because again, I don't like to waste my money. So I've been using these. These are really nice. It's the Rodile, Rodi Rodial. I don't know how to say that. Let me know. How do I say that? I'm not sure. Soft Focus Glow Drops. Adds a little bit of plumpness to the skin. I don't love this. Like look how disgusting that looks. It's not, it's like a very thick, there's honestly like nothing in the dropper. That's like the one thing, like why have a dropper if nothing is coming out of the dropper? So that's literally what I do. I take a little bit, I put it on top of my sunscreen, kind of just adds a nice little glow, a nice little extra jutes to the skin. Another product that I... <sighs> I don't know. I don't really love it. I don't think it's worth your money, but I've been using it because of what I just said. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm trying to embrace the jutsiness of the skin, use the things that I bought, that I purchased. I use this on days where I don't use foundation. And y'all know, if you stick around, watch my videos, most days I don't use foundation. I've been using this and I've been taking this SL Miss Glam SG62. And I've kind of just, it's like a fluffy brush. I honestly think it's a powder brush, but again, we use things how we see fit here. We don't follow the rules. I don't like to waste my money. And if something says to use it one way and I don't like it that one, one way then I'll use it other ways. It can leave you a little bit patchy if you don't work it in. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer. Just something that I have been trying to work through within my collection. If you've been here you know I can't stop buying lip products. I need to stop talking about it but it's really become an addiction of mine. It went from like drugstore nudes, can't stop buying them, to like I just I can't stop buying lipsticks in general. So we're not spending too much time in this video because because I just feel like I hit play and I just, I, I do things so much slower because I love chatting with you guys. But I did use my OG contour stick to just lightly bronze the face. I showed you guys how I used this in my last favorites video because I did feature this in February. I'm trying to get through this damn thing. And you would look at this and think like, my God, she's almost there. But I swear to you, I've been using this like five days a week since I mentioned it in that video. And my God, I don't think I've gotten anywhere. So while I think I'm at the ass end of it, I really Really, I'm not. This is Tower 28 in Rush Hour. I just love the peachy tones to this. And I say this all the time, but this is the best like transitional shade color. Like it's not too summery, but it can be. It's not wintry, but it can be. It's just like the perfect everyday kind of like peach. I make it a bit more peachy in the summertime. So I'll just load it up a bit more. Or in the winter, I just put on like a sprinkling of it and it just gives me like a beautiful glow from within kind of a blush shade. I am going to powder using my Givenchy Prism Libre. We don't need to talk about this. So let me powder very quickly. I'll fast forward very quickly through this and then we will meet back here. Jue Adore Blush Duo. It has Adore Me and Holds Me. This is Adore Me. This is Holds Me. And y'all know, I absolutely love this brush from Hourglass, the dual-sided. I'm going to use the smaller one. I'm going to hop into the darker shade in this. And I will always powder on top of my cream blush. You guys saw when I applied the cream blush that I kind of did a W across the face. With this, I keep it to the back of my face a little bit. I just find that it helps to make my face a bit more sculpted if I don't bring it in too close to the nose. So I kind of focus this on the outer section and I do put some into the crease of my eye. It's so hard this setup that I have going on and I'm trying not to put things in the frame because it's like changing up the lighting and I'm trying to make it natural lighting so you can like really see what's going on but then with what's with what is ever left over on the brush I do bring it in a little bit. I'm still using my NARS Laguna Bronzer. It's right here. I love her, adore her. I'm gonna use the larger side and I'm just gonna pat over where I put that OG contour stick that you did not see me apply, but I did apply. 
I do not think that this is like the best powder in the world. A lot of you have gotten very upset with my opinion on it, but I have been using it more because like I said, I use the things I spend my money on. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush. I'm in the shade one. I'm taking a fluffy Scott Barnes brush. And after I've done all my powder, all my cream, I pick it up like this and I kind of just go around the sections of my face where I applied my bronzer, my blush, just anywhere, like the center of my face. I wanna set the T-zone. And since I'm not wearing foundation, which means I don't have a ton of coverage on my face, I find that this powder, as opposed to like the Givenchy powder, has a little bit of coverage in it. it helps to give my face a bit more coverage um, since I'm not wearing foundation. So I don't know if you could see the difference between this side of my face. I'm sorry, the sun just went away, but between this side of my face and this side of my face, this just looks more blurred and less splotchy because it kind of, the powder softens the edges of all of the color cosmetics that I put on while also brightening wherever I added it and kind of just, again, adding that little bit of layer of coverage. So this is just a trick that I've been absolutely loving with this powder. It's really been working for me. So there you go, guys. I always find a way to love things because like I said, if I spend my money on it, you bet your ass. You bet your ass, I'm gonna use it. Love my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray brows. This is like very excessive, but I'm keeping it true to what I've been doing. I've been using two brow gels. I'm going to show you right now. I don't like this. I don't recommend this. I think that this is terrible for the price point that it's at. But again, the common theme of this video is me using things that I don't normally like in ways that I figured out to like them. <laughs> What is she saying? No one will ever know. Grande two-in-one brow gel with serum in it. Now, I don't like this. I think it makes my brows look too chunky, but what I've been doing is I've been taking this itty-bitty brush. I love the itty-bitty brush. Focusing it from here out, so not the front of my brow, because I find that it does too much in the front. Like, it makes my brows look like I filled them in. I don't know if you could see, but even like here, it just, it does a lot, which is nice, but I wish it would do less. So I kind of just keep it to the back half of my brow. Then in the front, I've been loving this. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I tried this in a recent video with you guys. I've been using this like all month long. It's so good, I absolutely love it. Lightly adding it to the front because again, this product can kind of do a lot too. It can kind of add a lot of pigmentation, but the color is better and I do put it through the whole brow. The color on this is better for me, so it's not as like chunky looking when I apply it. And taking my Araceli Bebe Brow Pencil or BB Brow Pencil, I'm not sure. I use it in a lighter shade. This is in the color Blonde. Finesse the front of my brow with this. I'm tired of stressing about my brows. Anyone else? It makes the most of my face just because I've always had like big bushy brows, but it's like the worst step in my makeup routine. I just honestly hate it. I just use this as like a spot lighter. That's what I keep calling it. And I use it on my Cupid's bow. And then I take my finger and blend it. And then I do this to help continue shaping the brows just because again, I have big brows. They can get a little bit out of hand. So I put this all underneath my brow. Again, take my finger and blend it out. I have been using this palette. I don't think you can get this anymore, but I've literally just been using browns. These are really the two colors I've been using. I use like a max of three brushes. They're all fluffy brushes. Sometimes I just use this one brush. Honestly, at the moment, my favorite shadow brush is this one by It Cosmetics. It's the Effortless Crease Brush. I'm sorry, I lied to you. I've been using this light brown called Milk Chocolate. I've been using Semi Sweet and I've been using salted caramel. So a light brown, kind of like neutral brown, and then a peachy brown. I just, those are the kind of brown tones that I enjoy. So I'm gonna pick up the light brown up here, add a bit of definition to the crease. Now, you're gonna know exactly what I'm doing if you frequent my channel, because I'm just nonchalantly, willy-nilly going around my entire eye. So I just put it in the crease like this, Pull it up on the side just to lift the eye and then pull it all the way down. 
like that to just give a lifted can you see the difference a lifted more defined look to the eye i don't really care about my eye makeup as much anymore i'm really into like a bold brow a juicy complexion and this has been my vibe for a while now and a nice lip and that's just kind of what i fall to i put a alarm on saturdays my dad passed away at 12 14 so every saturday I have a little alarm that goes off at 12, 14, and I just say, hi, dad. You know what? Let's all say hi to my dad together because my dad was such, <laughs> so funny. Cause like he didn't care anything. He didn't care about anything related to beauty, but he was such an advocate for my channel. Like he used to look at my channel and like tell people about my YouTube channel. And he would say to me like, oh my God, Forge, like I was looking at your channel and your one video had like 10,000 views. That's like so crazy. I love him very much. I miss him every day. And I have that little, like I said, I have that little reminder to just think of him. And you know, I talk to him, I would say like every other day, if not every day, but it's just a little reminder to say hello. If I haven't said hello to him yet on Saturdays, kind of just think of him. So dad, me and my subscribers, all of my internet friends, my interweb friends say hello. And I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful Saturday. He would love this Saturday. It's bright, it's sunny. It's 60 degrees. I don't think he would mow the lawn. Would he mow the lawn today? It's not really like mowing the lawn season, but anyway, he would be outside for sure, enjoying himself. The best thing you can do when you lose someone, I think, is talk about them, celebrate them, and incorporate them in your life. That's what makes me feel better. I don't know, but everybody's different, so. Anywho, I'm gonna hop into the darker shade, semi-sweet. Keep this to the outer third. I'm just gonna like wiggle it right here. Again, not being too precise, but I kind of want a, like a lifted effect. So can you see how that just adds a little bit of depth in here? And then once the pigment is down, I'm just gonna lightly do windshield wiper motions, bring it underneath again. Can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Again, nothing crazy, it's just little subtle things. I like to use a peach on a different fluffy brush. This is a Scott Barnes brush. And I'm kind of just gonna use this to just put all over the lid to like diffuse all the shades together. And again, nothing crazy. I kind of just want to blend it and I use my finger to soften the edges. I have a hair somewhere in my eyeball. Oh, another Brogan hair. Why does this always happen when I'm filming my favorites? Because Brogan is my favorite. He's one of my favorites for sure. And then I have two lip combos for you because I can't decide which combo I wore most. It really, it's like two different kind of vibes. One is like a jutsier vibe when I need some hydration on my lips. And the other one is when I've taken really good care of my lips, which I've been doing a pretty good job at and I can wear something a little bit more matte and like vibey. For mascara today, I'm gonna be using the Gucci mascara. I have been really enjoying this. I do like the Lancome Lashy Doll better than this, but this is a good number two. Lip liner of choice has been my MAC strip down. Now, last month I mentioned Honey Bee Gardens, which has been my favorite for a while now, but I don't know what happened. I just have been gravitating towards this one more. It is like the perfect kind of like, it matches the shadow of my skin. So it's a very natural lip line shade for me. Like it just looks, it helps my lips look bigger, but in a really natural way, so. The e.l.f. lip oil. This is in the shade Rose Envy. The Jutsi lip combo of the month. Like, ooh my god. I love this formula. This definitely has like a menthol tingly feel to it. It does plump the lips. It fills in those fine lines and kind of like does that thing where it hydrates them and plushes them from the inside out. So it kind of pushes the lines out. I want to let this sink into the skin, sink into my lips, I should say, so you can really see the full effect. Let's talk about food items. We already talked about my Coke Celsius, really, really good. But this month I have been incorporating more protein into my diet. I'm trying my best to really get back into my workout routine, my healthy 
routine. Every morning for breakfast, I want to say this entire month, I've been having a Greek yogurt. I don't like Greek yogurt. I just don't. Never have. Not a fan. But I bought granola that I found at ShopRite. This is Love Crunch. This is the dark chocolate and peanut butter. I've been really liking this one, but I also have tried the chocolate and coconut one, which is pretty good. I think I like this one better. Hello? Yes. Are you the cat? Because you sound like the cat. Yeah, I'm the cat. Yeah. What are we talking about? Granola? We're talking about my favorites of March. March favorites? Yeah. And that's why I'm here? Yeah. How do you know? Hi, everybody. I'm a March favorite. A March favorite. I measure out one serving of this every day. I put it into Greek yogurt, which I'm pretty sure the Greek yogurt I eat is Chobani and it has 12 to 14 grams of protein in it. Put a little bit of honey in it and this just helps me to get my protein in. This is so good. Another thing that I've been incorporating to help get more protein, peanut butter powder. Now I'm late to the game. I have never tried this before in my life, but I saw this when I went to the fancier shop, right? This has 50 calories for one serving and five grams of protein. So this just has more protein in less calories. I'm not counting calories, but being that I can't work out as much as I normally work out, I'm not hitting my move goals every day because it's just, it's not in the cards for me right now while I'm trying to heal my hip. I'm not counting calories, but I am calorie conscious. So if you are the same, I would highly recommend this. And this is so good. If you put one serving in, I measure out a serving. You could put two servings because two servings is only a hundred calories for 10 grams of protein. Still, 50% less than one serving of peanut butter in terms of caloric intake. Really good job of making all of my smoothies taste like peanut butter. I've been having a protein smoothie every single day because like I said, I'm trying to get my protein up in terms of keeping me fuller longer. And also I'm convinced that like the more protein you eat, better it is for your body. And I really think that like eating more protein is going to help heal my hip quicker. I want to mention shoes and I want to mention handbags because that is something that I did last month. And y'all know I love shoes and I love handbags. I'm having a bit of a shoe issue because I cannot wear heels with my hip. I just want to reiterate, like a pair of Converse, they're vibey. They're cool. It's kind of like, you know, she was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. I like it. I'm into it. I've been wearing these a lot with jeans. It's a vibe with like even dress pants. It's cool. And I feel like I'm bringing them back because a lot of people have complimented me on my Converse and that have gone out and bought Converse. So I felt like I needed to share it with you as well. I don't know if they still sell these because I've had these for a really long time. I love these shoes so much, but these are from M. Jemmy. M. Jemmy is an Italian brand. They make really beautiful shoes. I love their loafers. I own this pair in two different colors. I have this black pair and then I have a more tan pair. I wear them every single day when I'm at work. Like literally I commute to work in my little like commuter sneakers. As soon as I get there, I put these on or the lighter colors on. The only thing I will say about these shoes, they're beautifully made, but every single pair that I own, they're not grippy on the bottom. So be careful. I find that they're perfect for like an office setting. So that is where I wear them. You've been forewarned, they're a little slippy on the bottom, but these are like the most comfortable flats I've ever owned. And I am one of those people People where I find heels to be more comfortable than flats eight out of ten times. I just want to mention this one. I'm I can't find this online. I do apologize to you. This exact one with the evil eye, because we all know I love the evil eye. This is a hot couture bag. No, hot shore bag. But you guys have seen these. These are like the little drawstring bags. They clip here so you can have the bag this or you can have the bag out like this. I'm very sure if you've been here on my channel, you've seen this bag so many times. But this has become my gym bag and I absolutely love it. I'm going to the gym a lot. I've been going to physical therapy a lot and this has just been my like athletic bag of choice. I throw all of like my workout things in here. When I'm going to yoga, I haven't been using yoga blocks because I'm getting better in terms of my hip mobility. Thank you, Lord. In the beginning when I started going, I really like could not touch the ground. So I would put my yoga blocks in there. I would bring one just because I really, most of the time you only need one. I would bring one or two. They fit in there. It's nice. It's kind of like a catch-all for like your gym goods. I do bring my yoga mat to the gym as well. I will put it across here and it just like lays across my bag. So I just really wanted to mention this. Again, I have not been able to find this exact print, but they make this bag in an array of different colors, varieties, prints, and I will link the website down below. This is a really good bag if you need a good gym bag. This has been my bag of the month. Is this a surprise? It's definitely not. If you watched my vlog, I bought this, was it the very end of February? I've been using this a lot. Granted, 
on the days that it rains, I do not use it because it is suede, but I am just, I'm so in love with this bag. I think it will look beautiful for any and every season. I know it's suede, which kind of screams like fall, winter, but I'm gonna make it work. I think it's a beautiful kind of like neutral bag. I love it. It holds so much. I'm very much into like big, bucket bags, big catch-all bags. I love anything and everything that I can just throw shit into and don't have to think about. She's just a vibe. Look at, and she's like very expensive looking. I love her so much and I'm gonna take her out today and tomorrow because we're having fabulous weather, finally. If you wanna see like a what's in my bag video or like a review video on this, let me know. I don't wanna spend like too much time on her because I talked about her so much. She's been in so many of my videos lately. I have been very into like small huggy earrings. The first ones here are from Jacoji and they're from my mom and my dad. Last year for Christmas, my mom bought me these from Blue Nile. They're just really comfortable hoops. If I'm lazy at night and I don't want to take them off, I don't take them off. Honestly, since my mom gave these to me in December for Christmas, these second pairs, I haven't taken them out because I'm one of those people where if there's nothing in my second hole, I will not put an earring in my second hole when I'm getting ready in the morning. But I just wanted to mention these because they're easy, they're breezy, they're comfortable, and you can purchase both pairs. I've been trying to wear more pieces that you guys can get your hands on. And if you're interested in little huggy hoops like this, I will link both pairs down below. So here's my lip. I'm going to give it one last spotlight. It's so pretty. I love this. Honestly, on days where I just need that extra hydration, this e.l.f. has been my go-to paired alongside the MAC lip liner. Now, let's move on to my more dramatic lip that I wear when my lips are in a good spot. To keep my lips in a good spot, guys, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. F. Lana lips, F Laneige, F any kind of fancy schmancy kind of like lip mask that you can buy. Nothing is better than Vaseline, nothing. I've been using Vaseline every single night. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm still biting the crap out of my lips. I'm still biting, but it's less noticeable because I've been using Vaseline like crazy. This is next to my bed on my nightstand. I slather this all over my lips and I kind of just like put it all, all over my mouth, like all here. Because of that, I can wear more matte bold lips like this. I'm just gonna lightly take this off. And now I'm gonna take e.l.f. in the shade Standing Ovation. Guys, this effing lip color. Look at that lip color. Oh my God, it goes so good with my shirt too. Again, I do pair this with my MAC Strip Down because this has just been the lip liner I've been gravitating towards the most. And that is the lip. How good is that lip, guys? How good is this lip? It's like a nude where you can wear it every day, but it's like a more fun nude. Like it's like a good spin on an everyday nude and I've been loving it. I just feel like it's such a face brightening lip, super comfortable. These e.l.f. lipsticks, the formula, chef's kiss, so comfortable. They are a satin finish. So they're not hydrating lips like the e.l.f. lip oil, but they are very, very comfortable and they sit beautifully on the lips. As I mentioned in my last video, I have been reading Jackie Collins, Her Hollywood Wives. This is the book, not even like halfway through. It's been a struggle to read this. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is scandalous, it is sexy. I'm not knocking Jackie for this book. It's just not speaking to me. It's very much like Candace Bushnell and I talked about this in my last video, but there's so many characters in, a, in the book and I find that like with Candace's books, I can follow along pretty well, but this one I'm struggling. So there's just a lot of characters. There's a lot of different narratives. Finally starting to see how they're all going to collide with one another, like how all their lives are going to collide with one another and how we're gonna come to a common thread. I'm seeing that now. I will touch base with you, let you guys know in an upcoming vlog how the remainder of this book was and which book I'm going to read next. I have not decided. I just, yeah, this is just not speaking to me. That's not to say it's a bad book. I feel like if I read this last year, I would have been very into it. But like I said, in my last favorites video, I'm I'm just looking for something with more resilience and like getting through hard times in life. Whereas this is a little pretentious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. This way I know you enjoy my monthly favorites and I will keep on keeping on with them. Also, let me know down below in the comments, what were some of your favorites this month? Are you reading anything good? If you're reading a good book, let me know. Your girl needs recommendations. Let me 
me know any beauty products that were your favorite, anything that was your favorite, foods, restaurants. Let me know what you guys are up to. I love to talk to you and I love, love, love to hear from you guys. If you're not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video, watch some more of my videos, see if you and I vibe. If we do, I would love for you to join my little family here on the internet. I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.